so here's a set of data. At 20C, I've got a set of um, properties, one value for each for each of these uh, liquids. So now I can say um, view toolbars forms. We've used this toolbar before. And I want to add a control to this sheet. And the control I want is this combo box down here. So I'm going to just click that combo box and trace it out. Okay, now I'm going to get rid of this toolbar. And what I want to do is be able to pull down this menu and grab one of these um, liquids. And when, when the user grabs a liquid that will end up in here, then I want to put some of the properties down here. So let's say I want the thermal conductivity, the density, and the heat capacity for that for that liquid to end up in these in these um, cells below. So what I do then is I right click on this control, format control, and it needs an input range. The input range is the is the values that the user will see in the menu. So it's just these names, and it needs a cell link, and I'll just put that down here in in cell A17. And what will happen is when the user selects the first item from that, that input range, it will put a 1 into this cell link, into cell A17. When they se select the second one, uh, they'll put a 2 there. The third one, they'll put a 3 there. Okay. So that's done. Um, so now what we want to do here is uh, make use of that data. Okay. So you see... Um, when they choose ammonia, there's a 1 in there, CO2 is a 2, that sort of thing. So now we want to be able to, for the thermal conductivity, uh, take the second value based on this. Okay, so what you use to do that is the index command. I say index, and then I give a set of data, which is this data here. And I guess I don't need the temperatures. Okay, so these data and then the row number will come from here and the the column number depends on what data I'm using so I want the thermal conductivity which is the first column of the selected data so I've selected six columns of data the first column is thermal conductivity so I put a one here okay and then I'm just gonna copy this because I'll need it later okay and I hit return and you can see that now I've got the second uh, thermal conductivity, so it's the thermal conductivity of CO2. I can do the same thing for ethylene glycol, and it gives me 0.249. I can pull off the sulfur dioxide, which is going to be 0.199. Okay, then I can do the same thing for density. I use the same formula, but now I just use column two, the second column our, in our data. And same with heat capacity, and I use column 3. Okay, so now I can change this to, say, ammonia, and I get 0 0.521, 612, 4800. So there you go. Now you can make this a little fancier by hiding this row, and you can even hide these rows if you want to, or put them on another sheet for that matter. So now we just pull down a menu and uh, we get our data. So then you could go and, and build on this sheet and make use of that thermodynamic data for whatever purpose you would want this data for. Okay. So again that's a powerful feature adding these controls to sheets. We've already seen how adding buttons to sheets makes makes the running of macros quite handy. Well here's here's a, a control you can add that, that allows us to add data to a sheet and um, do some interesting things.